One of the most important things on a smartphone like the Bolt that has a half VGA display is going to be the browser. Luckily, because we're running the new version of the BlackBerry OS, the, the browser is quite capable. If you look closely, you can see that the cursor, which is controlled by the trackball, shows up as a magnifying glass. When we click in, it zooms. It's not particularly intelligent on it, and it's quite honestly not all that fast, but it, it is workable in general. There are some quirks with the browser, though. Um, you can see it doesn't always choose links properly. I'm trying to activate this link, and it takes a little finagling in order to get it to work. The browser is also not the fastest in the world, um, thanks in large part to the fact that we use JavaScript on the site, um, which really seems to slow down the BlackBerry browser. You can see we're having some real trouble here getting this to work. The browser and its mouse pointer work pretty well when on a mobile site or a web site. You can see it comes up pretty quickly. We're on a Wi-Fi connection at the moment, which you can see AT&T is going to be offering free to BlackBerry users. Let's see if we can view this on the regular mobile burn site by clicking on this link. Notice that it's going to take a while to load. Turns out to be more of an issue with the processing speed rather than bandwidth. If we click on the text here, it'll zoom in a bit. Doesn't do the zooming too intelligently, though. You can still see it's, it's too small to read. I have to click again. It's not a great browser, but it's not a bad browser. You can get things done, but you're not going to be wanting to do a, a lot of regular surfing on any kind of regular basis. I'm going to bring up the camera on the bolt by pressing the button on the right hand side here. See, it's fairly straightforward. You can press on that button again or use the trackball to snap a photo. One of the nice things with the Bolt is that it has a GPS device and it automatically will use that for geotagging on photos. Take a look right there. And now when we take photos, it's going to automatically mark the latitude and longitude so we know where the photos were taken. And while it has been organized a bit, you're still going to see a lot of scrolling in certain sections, especially in the options. It's a little bit intimidating to novices, but Overall, the system is very powerful. And to RIM's credit, they are starting to put common things like the screen and keyboard settings, which is also in the long options list, moving it to some place where it's a little more accessible. The user interface is pretty good looking now. A lot of nice updates to it. Very sharp looking, and you know, again, that display is fantastic. So that's a very quick look at the new BlackBerry Bold 9000 from Research and Motion. will be on sale very soon on the AT&T network.